Hey guys, how's it going? Crane here. So, League of Explorers Adventure First Wing was out, and, uh, well, I had a lot of fun doing it, and today I just want to talk about that and show you guys my experience, because, well, it's, it's basically like the best time in Hearthstone. The, the adventure system is one of my favorite parts of the game, along with Tavern Brawl and fun arenas and constructed fun that goes along with the new card, and that's coming up pretty soon. But for now, I just want to show you guys some of my thoughts with the, uh, wing that we just had launched. Launch and uh, yeah, give you guys a little bit of strategy. Not that you would need it too much, but I find it fun to talk about so you guys can see what's going on and maybe if you'd want to uh, get it for yourself. So the wings got three bosses. Uh, you got like a ton of, you got like nine cards in this. I don't know. They're all pretty good, but I haven't really checked out to see just how good they are yet. Uh, first boss in it is Zinar, and Zinar basically draws a card and gives you a wish every single turn. And on normal mode, he can give you like these wishes that I haven't seen on heroic mode, which is like give you two more wishes and it's kind of cool and stuff. It's just a lot of fun. It works well with like spell synergy decks. It worked well even with handlock because I just had a bunch of extra cards. Uh, but on heroic, he's actually pretty difficult. On heroic, he draws a card and gains a mana crystal. Um, and of course, he gives you the wish as well, but the wishes don't seem to be as good. I've never gotten the double wish thing on heroic mode, uh, but because he's drawing a card every single turn and because um, you know, he's has the man advantage. It's very hard to actually go toe to toe on the board with him. So uh, I just played Mildred. Mildred seems to work really well. Uh, he just doesn't have that much damage in his deck as a whole. He doesn't have many big creatures. The biggest one's like Stormwind Champion or something. And if you're playing Mildred, you just naturalize the big creatures and you deal with the others with the, the free spells that you get, along with you know Wild Pyromancer and cards of that sort. So. Pretty easy stuff there. Um, the next boss, the second boss in the ring, is Sun Raider Ferrix. And uh, he, he likes his rod. Uh, he's got a rod. The rod makes whoever has it immune from his passive power. Um, the rod, when it dies, it goes to your side of the board. Unless you silence it, then it goes absolutely nowhere. Uh, and on normal mode, it doesn't really matter too much. It's actually a fairly challenging normal mode encounter if you don't understand the full mechanics of Hearthstone because there's these dudes, the Tolvir Hoplites, which do a crazy amount of damage and if they die when uh, the rod is on his side of the board you're the only one taking five damage and that's a lot of damage to take because he's played at least three of these against me he's got like an abnormal amount of these cards in his deck so it gets a little bit difficult and on heroic uh, it actually is a little bit challenging at least uh, relative to the other two encounters they launched today and on heroic the rod only gives immunity if it's on his side of the board and his his side of the board rod gets like a 3-3 buff so it's like a 3-8 creature or something. It's pretty difficult to deal with. Generally the strategy is, well this is the priest deck that I played, you play a whole bunch of silences um, and yeah, you can silence the card and then when it dies, well, he doesn't become immune and you don't get it so it can't really go back to him. And uh, you again just kind of grind him out. Um, it's pretty difficult to beat him, uh, but the grinding process seems to work. He's got like uh, light spawns and stuff, so your silences are also very useful late game. Um, he's got a bunch of weapons, so it's good to have weapon removal. Also, I, I kept Sunwalker in my deck because Sunwalker, I think, is one of the most brutal cards against warriors who have just straight up damage weapons, which is what he has. He doesn't have any like death rally weapons or anything too extravagant. He just has like high damage impact weapons. And the other card you should consider playing around is Flame Strike because you probably are going to grind him out. Um, getting Flame strike might cost you the game so try not to overcommit to the board uh, the last boss is the temple escape and it is a very interesting boss encounter uh, very unique compared to what we've seen in the past out of the adventure modes in Hearthstone and basically what happens is uh, there is uh, 10 turns you got to survive uh, you can skip one and every single turn there's like something different that happens and if you guys want to go through like this list of things if you're having a lot of trouble with the encounter uh, I, I posted a link for the hearth Pone guide which just just gives the turn by turn breakdown. I just feel it's unnecessary to tell you guys that kind of stuff because, well, it's just really easy to play Freeze Mage. But, uh, you know, just to the core mechanics, basically the guy starts with a minion in play on Heroic. He starts with the Boulder Fist in play and he starts getting like free stuff, like big creatures all the time. Often they have Divine Shield and it's very hard to stay alive if you haven't done that. You can't actually attack the boss. The boss doesn't have an amount of health. Your, your only goal is to survive. And there's some very cool, interesting mechanics and options that come 
come through the different turns. Uh, the only real notable turn is at the end of turn five, he clears the board, but he clears it at the end of his turn. So you have to survive that attack wave and then the board is fully clear, then you can gain back a little bit of tempo, just try to survive a little bit more. I think a lot of decks work. I even uh, got like a mill-ish type of rogue to work. Uh, the reason it works is cards like, um, you know, Cold Light Oracle are really good because it doesn't have a deck. So you're the only one drawing two cards. Cards like Death Lord work for the same reason because he doesn't have a deck. You're going to win every single joust, so you can consider that when you're building your deck. Um, also, uh, yeah, with all that aside, just play Freeze Mage. I mean, this is my Freeze Mage deck list. Uh, big Game Hunters are kind of a must because he keeps playing really big minions. Um, Doomsayers are really fun because he plays those big minions anyway. He has no hand, so he doesn't actually have any answer to your Doomsayer. In some cases, I play Doomsayer, doesn't even kill it just like lets it resolve so very easy stuff just a lot of preventative damage because he clears the board himself on turn five just constantly freezing the board makes it so easy to deal with this stuff um, like half of the cards in this freeze mage list are just redundant uh, I'll show you guys a game on just how easy it was at the end of uh, my talk here so you can see that you you really don't need all this stuff you know a lot of it is just fluff uh, really if you get a huge doomsayer and like a good freeze you'll just beat the encounter it's pretty easy peasy so overall I've had a lot of fun uh, the cards seem pretty cool I, uh, I'm really eager to check some of them out um, but uh, the encounters while they were very exciting Blizzard really pushed the um, dynamics of the hero powers really pushed how the encounters function well oh they also pushed the AI um, the artificial intelligence for these bosses was was bad but not like atrocious which it has been for the last two encounters so a lot of things are on the upswing but the only thing that I noticed that was on a downswing was just the difficulty level was just too low like it was just too easy to beat these bosses even in my free-to-play accounts I really had no difficulty beating the bosses on heroic so because of that I was a little bit let down um, just because you know it's in a way it's really fun to lose against these bosses uh, because you you encounter their mechanics in like a very full way you you have like a more fulfilled experience in the adventure if it has a reasonable level of difficulty because you have to face the bosses some cases in the past and in, in black rock mountain or naxxramas you'd have to do like 10 attempts on a boss 20 attempts on a boss before you got like lucky before you really understood all the stuff that was going on well I didn't really get that feeling in this one. It just felt too easy, and a lot of the hard work that they did in making the uh, the encounters really fun and interesting was kind of gone to waste because you didn't have to thoroughly examine every aspect of them because the difficulty was too low. But, you know, this stuff is coming up uh, week by week. We have three more weeks to go until it's all live, and, uh, you know, maybe there are some adjustments left to be made. We'll have to see, but for now, enjoy the clips, enjoy some of the fun I had uh, on the League of Explorers launch night. Check it out, enjoy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, wait, do we just kill him now? No. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's there's a really good chance that we just still kill him. Magic Explorer. It's all fire, right? <laughs> it's worth thousands. We're not selling it. Is that good enough? No, that's too off lethal. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna fist the Jaraxxus. Then we gain two wishes. Wow. I can't believe that worked. Then we're gonna oh no no not not the minion. Let's discover a spell. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy game. What do you mean? I took the soul fire. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, we get like two cards each time. All right, let's keep the sheep. Dragon priest wrecks all three. That's really sad. Of course it does. What's that gonna do? I'm gonna take the 
like innervate actually. Okay, that can be pretty bad. Feels bad, dude. Ever. <laughs> Behold the light of storm wind. Mm. Fine. We don't have to go with the draw, we can just play this in charge. Where just play that shit in charge. Not so fine. Oh god. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Imagine, Explorer, the rod of the sun. Ho oh, oh, ho, it's worth thousands! We're not selling it. Silence! Let's try this play. Death does not scare me! I'm a beast. Got it. Fucking got it. Oh, so wrecked. whole deck with this so Death Lord can't get anything. Yeah. 
against it. Oh man, the recovery. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, that was one off lethal. Alright. Well, thankfully he sucks. So, that part's good. He's only got these six cards, so we should. Oh, he just he just had lethal. Just missed it. Okay, maybe the AI is not so great. Actually, it's the chance it's not so great. It's possible, you know. It's possible. Oh, I don't want to fill up my hand. Wait, he has a beast. In, he has two beasts in play. Oh fuck yeah. Fucking thrill the hunt, boys. Death does not scare me. All the while. Oh, he drew the torch last turn. Oh, that's right, because he created it. That's right. No, he didn't miss Lethal. No mistake. Naturalize that. She probably should discover a spell earlier. Um, uh, whatever. I mean, I don't see how one card is going to kill me here, right? I mean, I beat Deathwing. He's dead next turn, too. There's literally no chance. Yeah, I just, like, pass the turn and kills himself. Alright! I'm guessing he'll, he'll probably play some shit that I can beat you each. this death rattle surrender this to your opponent grab that staff thanks <laughs> all right shields up all right could just silence it off i guess right i mean that would work I silence it, it doesn't death rattle, so I just kill it, and then nobody controls the rod of the sun. The but I guess it might be good to be immune. Huh. Good thing we have that BGH, I suppose. I've got the beast in my side. I protect the temple. Wait, what was that? Five damage to both heroes. Oh. Fuck it, I'll just sound so I protect the temple. Shield up. It's impossible to win now. Was I not supposed to silence that? Is this whole deck fucking Tolvir hot flights? Oh, well, that would be pretty unfortunate. Truth is my shield. Ah, no, that's, that's fine. I can take that down. Okay. Okay. See, we're a little bit low right now, but that's that's no big deal. It's no big deal. Okay, maybe it's a small deal here. Alright, it's a little bit of a deal. It's a little bit of a deal, actually. Now that I that now that I've taken a look at the situation, it's a little bit of a deal. Um Shield up.
Wait for us, but... Uh. Okay. What are you looking at? Hey, a glowing pool! Wanna check it out? A card. Ceiling collapse. Does he lose all his shit too, or do I just lose all my shit? Hey, that's a nice statue. Oh, it is such a shiny ruby. Uh oh, he doesn't look happy. I think he wants his gem back. Did we just ace it? Zero damage taken? Okay, Saboteur on three is good, I think. Let's just keep that. I think that's actually the dream hand for me. It's gonna get a boulder fist. Hey, a glowing pool! Then he's gonna get the seven seven thing, but Get a mana crystal. The end is coming! Hey, a bit of spikes. Yolo? Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. Shall we put a key? I think there's a stop us here, power. are more important than health. Uh-oh. He doesn't look happy. I think he wants his jab back! Okay, so that's just gonna hit that, and then it's just gonna collapse. Or I could vanish. Oh, that's one mana. Okay. Okay. We cannot vanish that. I'm never gonna play the heal bot, so let's just... Let's just play the heal bot.
Could I actually kill this guy with Jeeves? This should be possible. Death does not spare me. You cannot be allowed to escape. And his hero power costs 10. Alright. He can't play it. Easy game. Shall we put a king in your plan? Way to overcomplicate things. Sounds to me like uh you're a little jealous of my sick blaze. <laughs> 